Hello and welcome to my channel Common Specialist where you'll find videos covering syllabus areas of various academic qualifications and professional certifications including life-changing business ideas and concepts. Ladies and gentlemen, today's video is about the misconception in accounting. Almost all the subjects have some misconception and so does accounting. So let's jump into the discussion. The very first misconception in accounting is that DR and CR is debit and credit. Actually it's not. DR and CR is debit record and credit record. So only the D stands for debit, R is for the recording. Only C stands for credit, R is for recording. So either you call it debit records or credit record or debit recording or credit recording. I have asked numerous students and teachers, the answer I got is DR and CR is debit and credit. Actually it's not, so please stand corrected. The second misconception is that drawings reduces the capital account. In reality, it does not. Actually, drawings are made in anticipation of profit. So, drawings should not be treated as a disinvestment. If you carefully look at the statement of comprehensive income of a sole trader, we write capital at start, at net profit, less drawings. Which means drawings are to be subtracted from the profit. It should not disturb the original capital. It only affects capital if you don't have any profits. Misconception number three. Purchase discount or discount received should not be subtracted from purchase. Instead, it should be added to gross profit as other income. Likewise, sale discount or discount allowed should not be subtracted from sales, but should be taken among expenses. To be more precise, these are selling expenses. The next misconception is that depreciation or accumulated depreciation is an amount set aside to purchase non-current asset in future. In reality, depreciation is the systematic allocation of cost of a non-current asset over its useful life. And depreciation is taken as an operating expense. And one of the questions which I'm asked the most is that in order to be good in accounting, you got to be super genius in mathematics. The answer is no. The only thing you need to know in mathematics in order to be good in accounting is addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. That's it. So ladies and gentlemen, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. Press the bell icon so that you get my videos on a timely basis. If you like this video, please share it with your friend and family members so that others can also benefit. Thank you so very much for your precious time. Mm -hmm.